Oh, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Frenzy Rumble of www.frenzyrumble.com. Uh, excuse my voice. I'm getting over a little bit of a cold right here. So I've got a little bit of a request to do a uh, quick little tutorial about how to pinstripe the flames or to pinstripe in general um, custom action figures. Uh, so what we got here is a Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime leader class. I've uh, stenciled all the flames onto him. You can see here it's coming out pretty nice. Um, and the next stage would be to pinstripe them, which is really a pain in the ass. But uh, if you take your time and you put a lot of patience into it, it comes out really nice. I don't know if the camera could pick it up or not, but I did do the front driver's side uh, fender here. A little bit in here as well. Um, so basically, it, it, what it comes down to is because I'm using a lacquer paint and enamel paints, I, I do have a little bit of a cheat method. Um, so to pinstripe, I use regular um, testers. Um, quarter ounce silver enamel. Um, I know they're light blue in the in the movie, but I think they look a lot better in silver. Uh, big key ingredient here is the brush. This is an 180 um, script liner brush. I don't know if you could see. I'm trying to get, show you what the tip of that looks like. So it's a really really fine brush. It's very important to keep this very clean and uh, the paint very wet the entire time. Um, so what I'm doing here is I, I have two important components here. This is my lacquer thinner. Uh, this is good for keeping the brush clean. Then I have my paint thinner, which is good to keep the, br uh, the paints thin. Um, so what I'm doing basically is I have a little bit of silver in the cap, the, the cap from the bottle, and I'm uh, lightly covering the tip of the brush with paint not the entire not the entire hair it's just the tip of the brush and then I'm removing the excess I want to get that nice and thin and I have masking tape here because that seems to uh, do a better job of keeping the the brush thickness really thin and then um, once I got a nice thin line on my tape I'm gonna go in and this is all in your wrist I usually take a deep breath in and uh, now basically it's all in your wrist I mean if you can get the angle correct you want to get the angle correct but you want to get use the motion of the wrist and you don't want to really stop in the middle of a line um, your, your goal is kind of to take it from one end to the other in one shot um, now my cheat method which really helps out a lot and it's a great benefit of using uh, lacquers and enamels is that I keep another brush nearby that's clean and I if I were to screw up a little bit or you know need to clean up a little bit I take it with just some paint thinner and you just go back in and erase it so because this is lacquer the paint thinner doesn't really affect it too much it doesn't affect it at all actually so basically I'll do that until I get each line perfect then I'll move on to the next one. Once it's all done, you know, it, it looks really sharp. Um, and then I'll clear coat everything. And uh, it, it does take a lot of time, but but it, it pays off in the end result.